morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Ang dami namin ngayon, four lang. <laughs> Dito po ya. Siguro na mag The port of Ivana is a charming entry point to the beauty of Batanes. It's one of the four ports of Batan Island alongside Basco, Mahataw, and Uyugan. The port of Ivana is a vital spot for travel and trade in Batanes. It's not just a gateway, it's a hub where locals thrive through fishing and commerce. Kaya nandito kami ngayon sa Ivana Port area dahil pupunta kami sa Sabdang Island. Na dito pa rin sa Batanes. We'll take the Palua boat ride and it will take 30 to 40 minutes depende sa alon. The Falua is a traditional boat without any outriggers that is made for strong waves. Both men steer the boat with their feet while keeping an eye on the waves from above the deck. The boat can also carry cargo like mountain bikes and motorcycles for a cargo free. Ito ang aming tour guide na si Sir Sonny. Tapos na yung examination na doon. Dito makikita nyo nga ang Sabtang Lighthouse. Sabtang Lighthouse is the first man-made structure to greet you as you approach Sabtang Island and the last to bid goodbye on your way back to Batan. Registration. Pa? Sabtang Central School. And then we're going to our van. Here's our van. Good morning! Here we are at Morong Beach, Sabdang Island. The Morong Beach is probably the most well-known thanks to the large rocky arch that has become an icon not just of the island but Batanes as a whole. The natural formation is called Nakabuang Arch. Morong Beach is a favorite among Batanes tourists for many reasons. The sand here is much fairer than the other beaches in the province. The waves are also less ferocious, they are friendly enough for a swim.
at a Vidug village, a small barrio located beside a stony beach. It is one of the 26 barangays in Batanes. Savidug is home to the Sinandumparan type of stone houses, one of the three types of traditional houses in Batanes. Sinandumparan stone houses have two sloped kogon roofs and most of them have identical stone walls. The sturdy stone walls provide shelter against strong winds and heavy rains that often hit the region making the stone houses a perfect symbol and icon of the Ibatans. Wow. We are here at Chamantad Tinian Viewpoint, or simply Tinian Viewpoint. Like in Batan Island's Marlboro Country, Raku Apayaman, a foot trail takes visitors across rolling hills to a viewing area. Rocky cliffs rising from the slopes of the hills, creating natural frames for the fantastic vista of Chamantad Cove below. This is really a most iconic spot in Sabdang Island. Sobrang ganda. Nakaka-amaze yung beauty niya. Talaga sobrang greenery, sobrang mesmerizing place. A little windy but it's okay. It's very very beautiful. Breathtaking. Ito nga talaga yung breathtaking. <laughs> rin dito mga native huts or mga bahay kubo near the road going to the lookout point where you can enjoy refreshments like kamote queue, bukayo, tuba, may fresh juice din sila, meron din silang mga buko juice. So anything you want as long as you know may maruya. Yay. Para sa pancake. Maruya. Maruya. <laughs> Locals are selling also their local souvenirs like wallet, fan, or pamaypay in Tagalog. Meron din silang mga t-shirts, ref magnets, different kinds of local products. 
ito yung nakita namin from above. We are here at Chabayan. Chabayan Batanes. <laughs> Another iconic place that is totally distinct from the rest of the island. The barrio built inside a cove and surrounded by jagged mountains. This ancient fishing village is probably the most well-preserved village in the whole Batanes region. Good morning po, magandang umaga. Famous for its rows of old stone houses, narrow streets, and not to mention having no signal at all. Chavayan village made us experience how it felt like living back in the old days. Another sight to behold in Chavayan is the only remaining chapel with a kagon roof in Batanes. Grabe, tulungan sila ko. Oh. Chabayan is also home to the Sabtang Weavers Association, an organization of local women who weave the iconic bakul. Bakul is the Ibatan's traditional headgear worn by women to protect themselves from the wind and rain. Ah, that's what you call kissing stones. Ganda. Sabtang is a photographer's haven when it comes to landscape and a seascape for its jaw-dropping scenery. And after a tiring yet full mind and soul, bubusugin naman ang chan natin ni the Figura Cafe Batanes with their very generous servings of very good foods and drinks. Figura Cafe is located in Sabtang Island where homes built during the Spanish period are very well preserved. They serve tour guests their traditional food, vunu, and also offer homestay. And here also we try their Ibatan yellow rice called uvet and lunis. Lunis is cooked in large batches with rock salt until its fat is rendered and turns golden brown. It is then stored submerged on its own lard in jars called tagao for months and consumed as needed. It is a pride of the province of Batanes and considered to be the one of their traditional food. Like most cured meats, the intention was to preserve meats for longer periods since refrigeration during the old days are not available.
Ganda naman.